Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tang. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to erase and reset this Mac running macOS Ventura, and it's gonna be as if it's a brand new computer. There's gonna be no data, no applications on it. And it's gonna be as if you bought the computer for the first time and you opened it up, and it's gonna be a fresh machine, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. So on macOS Ventura, it's in a slightly different position than it is on Montreux, so I'm gonna show you how to get to that position now. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing, and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So what we need to do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen and wanna click on the Apple logo here and click on system settings. Once we're in system settings, what we're gonna do is go to general and then we're gonna click on transfer or reset. So this is in a new position compared to macOS Montreux, which had this menu item under the menu bar here, but now it's under transfer and reset. So I'm gonna tap on this. And then we have the option here to open Migration Assistant, so that's if you're transferring data to or from this computer. However, what we wanna do is click Erase All Contents and Settings. So before you do this, make sure you have all of your data backed out, that there's nothing important here that you wanna keep, because after we do this, everything's gonna be erased completely. So here, I'm gonna click this button, Erase All Contents and Settings. Now it's prompted us for our password, which we're gonna type in now, that's the local administrator password. And then click Unlock. Here under Erase All Contents and Settings, it's saying all Bluetooth devices are gonna be unpaired. I'm gonna press Continue. Now it's giving us a warning saying that you're about to erase all contents and settings from this Mac. All data settings and apps will be erased that this cannot be undone. If this is the point of no return, we're gonna press the red button here to continue. So once we're ready, we're gonna press the Erase All Contents and Settings button, and then it's gonna continue here. And then we just have to wait for this to continue turning, and then the screen is gonna go blank. So here the computer's starting again. It's only been a few seconds. Now we come to the activation window, so we're just gonna continue here. So we we'll select our language, continue, and that's wanting us to activate our Mac. I'm gonna click on the Wi-Fi logo here and then connect to our local Wi-Fi network. But once we're connected to Wi-Fi, it's gonna continue the activation process. So now it's saying our Mac is activated, it's gonna restart. I'm gonna press the restart button to manually restart. So now that the computer is restarted, we've got this hello menu here, and it's as if we bought the computer and we've opened it up for the first time. This is the standard setup menu, as if you bought a Mac, which had macOS and Ventura installed on it. So at this stage, what we could do is go ahead and set up a new account, set up the language, create a new user, etc. And this is gonna go ahead and set up like a new computer. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.